Welcome to the Radiant Partners videocast series. First perspective that I want to get uh, from each each one of you is really about uh, change and the change that has been taking place uh, in the HHS domain, both at a federal and state level. Uh, can you guys talk a little bit about what kinds of changes these are and which, what, which ones have had the greatest impact uh, operationally for, for the agency? Uh, maybe, uh, uh, Jose, if you would like to start. Uh, yeah, sure. So I, I think it's a great question. I think when you look at the ecosystem, uh, the pandemic has proven uh, a couple of things. I think, first and foremost, we know that healthcare is highly fragmented across the United States. Um, however, that fragmentation has become less and less as we've started to drive a response to the pandemic uh, itself. I, I think the second change that's really kind of fascinating, and I got to watch it unfold firsthand, you know, within HHS Protect, we had 5 billion data elements connected with every hospital and every nursing home, all, all the states, all six territories. Um, what we started to see is that that fragmentation led to lack of visibility and transparency within the states themselves. So I think there had been a robust debate for a number of years about investment in public health uh, at the state level. Um, what the pandemic has done is shown that, in fact, that argument for more investment at the state level in public health was, in fact, it's something that was needed. Uh, and I think it's shined a light on it to drive that investment. I think the last thing for me personally that's quite fascinating um, is that I think now is the time for healthcare to move to, uh, to be a consumer driven market. Uh, we've tried to move uh, uh, EMR, electronic health care records directly to an individual for a number of years, uh, but it's going to happen now and it has to happen. And the reason is, is because Yankee Stadium or uh, the Seattle Seahawks stadium, they're not going to let you in to the park unless you can digitally show uh, that you've taken a COVID-19 test and that, and that maybe even that you've gotten the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, in order to do that, and you're going to need to invest in creating digital identifier for individuals across this country so that they can control and keep that record on their person. Uh, so I think those are the three changes that jump out at me uh, the most. I, I think the last thing that, uh, and, 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 and Kevin has actually kind of broken some of this glass, so it, it doesn't exist everywhere, but uh, technology in the health space has always been something that was used when needed. Uh, when I think about our response, we were using supervised machine learning capabilities to actually identify hotspot outbreaks across the United States and take the limited tests we have, about 30 million a month, and move them to regions where outbreaks were going to occur in the hopes that increased testing would change human behavior, that they wouldn't, they wouldn't go to the beach, that they wouldn't go to, to restaurants and bars. This was, you know, in the April, May, June, July timeframe. Um, that had never been done at that scale before. An enterprise capability running and creating visibility across the entirety of the United States in real time. Um, so I think that the, the swell of change to uh, accept technology and use technology to drive better health outcomes, uh, it, it's actually occurring right before our eyes. And, and maybe in many cases, the, the, the hand was forced because of the pandemic itself. Uh, and I, I feel horrible for all the folks that have suffered during this pandemic, um, but I hope that the pandemic itself has better prepared us to deal with these type of issues in the future, because it took these, these challenges, it took the weaknesses of the system, it took the fragmentation and it put it first and foremost in front of state, local and federal public health leaders and forced those issues to be addressed. And where those issues weren't addressed, you see the gaps on the nightly news. Um, as it relates to the death total and the case total and the amount of spread that you're seeing across the nation.